Drop the ball, MGA. You drop the <laughs> ball. Oh! Ah! Okay, yes. It was like that the whole time. <laughs> Doll circle and today we have Claudina to hello, open hello. something big. So it's been a year because you know Snap always has to say our memories. Yes. Last year we opened the giant remix boom Super box, Sonics. the Super Sonics box, and this That's year right. we're opening the ultimate 3D boxing experience, the Movie Magic Studios that Melissa gave me for my birthday, and it's taken me four months to open. I'm really sorry. So today we're opening it. Plus, I was waiting for you. Yeah. We're going to open it in October, and we never got around to filming it, so now we're opening it now. And one funny thing that we noticed on the box, we don't know if this is how it, oh, it says it on both sides. Uh, <laughs> see where it says, it says it's supposed to take up. Is that real? Is it supposed to take an hour and 20 minutes to open this? I need to go get a longer memory card. So we will see. So we are going to start opening it. Let's get into it. I don't even know where to begin. I do love that Trixie, if any of you watch Trixie Mattel, she just opened toys now and was opening this and was just kind of over the whole unboxing experience that it takes so long to open, which evidently says it takes an hour and 20 minutes. I'm not ready for this. This set does take some time. Um, Do you think more time than the Supersonics? I think more time than the Supersonics. There's the award that <gasps> some people use for the award show. I actually didn't know what that was from when I saw everybody with one. I was like, that's so cute. Where'd they get those? <laughs> oh, it comes with 3D glasses. Comes with... What is puzzle this? pieces. Oh, puzzle pieces. <gasps> this is massive. Yeah. This is really big. I do believe when they say it Do you it think takes... you'll keep this packaging? Where? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Where would I keep this packaging? Yeah, it's like a lot. But this it's it's four cute. different sets, I think, like different movie sets. So like this oh. is the lot, and then each, it's one for like every movie character. Okay, that's cute. That's really cute. I feel like it's like giving someone a dollhouse without having to buy a dollhouse kind of scenario, you know, where you have each playset. So if you wanted to buy this and you bought this for the dolls, you also get a playset instead of having to... What are you, like what, what is in my pocket? That's like... What is that? I don't know. <laughs> Padding? <laughs> you forgot you padding. Oh, I love the belt. Oh, 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 she's so pretty. But, oh, you have a green oh. screen. <laughs> so you have a beautiful green screen. Oh, I love these little seats over here. Okay, interesting. When did you, did you open it when it came out? Yeah, this was oh, like you months did. and months and months ago, but. Well, here we're delayed, so. <laughs> oh, oh, she comes right up. She's, yeah, she's beautiful. beautiful. I don't know why people said they were bored by the set. She's really beautiful. I love her. From her skin. Uh, to me, the it's makeup? Like solid gold, 70s, disco yes. queen, Donna Summer, which I was listening to in the car on the way to pick you up. That's why I'm saying it. Like, <laughs> she's so beautiful. And I do agree with Trixie. She said that she, like, I love, I don't know, she just looks so good here, this doll. I love it. I do, I'm kind of over the play sets, though. I'm done with the surprise aspects. I'm glad that Ella So then it doesn't now. matter if we rip it up. You can rip it up a little. I don't think I'm gonna keep the box. I really don't think I am. Good, 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 good. <laughs> That'll save us so much time. Well, I mean, does it open up more? I know, like it's. I feel like I'm like, <laughs> what am I doing? Over I know here? people are gonna drag us. They're gonna be like, you opened it wrong, but. Oh, are they supposed to be in certain orders? I don't yeah. do orders here. You know yeah, this. Yeah, no, no. She's going. Hold on, these pieces are going on the floor. I don't know where I'm putting. This is. So this is this toy is not meant to be unboxed on a video. I really think it's just not. What is this? Is this just a little heart that she holds? I think it goes with one of the tots. Oh. It says what does it say inside? Oh, the winner is the winner is. So all right, we have one clothing piece. There we go. Oh. Uh, oh, I love this room. Oh. Okay. I'm. I'm. I'm oh, you're just ripping it. Okay, that's <laughs> nice. Thank you. Now I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You know, I can this see is it now. Cute. This one's cute. This is cute. This one's cute. Like, I like the pillars. We'll do different sides. We're not going in any order, but you're supposed or to punch the numbers. We could just skip that by just opening the top. <gasps> is that what you're supposed Is that the cheating way? Well, is we could cut it cleaner so that way we don't have to rip it, but it has a thing on the inside, so you really Oh, can so you can just, okay. So you can either punch the numbers or, like what we're doing, cheat and just rip open the top. All right, let's see what top we have here. <gasps> Oh, she's cute. Oh yeah, that's Countess. See, I don't, I never had her. So now I get to have Countess. I'm like, I see, I'm, I'm happy about that because I never had her before. And then you have pop, uh, but she, well, she's like pop art themed. But she's a different color though. The dark yeah, blue on yeah. the first pop art, right? Yes. 
and then she's like oh they're all so cute Marilyn. so it comes with a variety of tots which i'm living for i think there's eight because each character in this set or in the movie line has two siblings instead of just one Oh, they're expanding so the family So there are two characters more. in one. See, I feel like, yeah, I, I don't blame Trixie for not completing the opening process because the, A, that would have taken her two So what did she hours. do? Did she just she took out, No, she didn't. She took out that one doll and that was it. You have to watch the video. It just cracked me up. <laughs> she took out the one doll and was like, I'm done. And then, she, then the whole time she was complaining that how toys are just all surprises and kids just need to be surprised, which I agree. I'm like, what, I, I'm kind of over it. These are her shoes. Yes. It does seem like... They're phasing out of the surprise thing, like with the OMGs now coming in clear packaging. I'm happy about that. Is everyone else happy about that? Throw in the comments. I feel, like I feel like people are. are. I feel like most people probably are. I feel like parents probably are, so that way they don't have to worry about... I mean, even parents today, like, I'll go to Walmart and I'll overhear parents say things like, are these... Is the doll on the outside packaging the doll or is it still a surprise? Yeah, I've helped so many parents. I feel like I'm like... Let me assist you. These are, these are not, you know? And I know that sounds super, like, annoying, but, like, I've helped people. I'm sure there's probably kids out there that pop all the heads off of all their LOLs and just change their heads around. I feel like that's why they come off, so it's easier to... Change their clothes and everything. Change yeah. your costume. Change it around. So that's what I think, too. I am, I am over also the trash aspect of these things. Like, there's so much paper. There's so much plastic. I'm glad that... LOL, you know, the LOL surprise line is going to more of a, like you like you said, seeing things. Yeah. I'm just tired of it. I, you know, and just the waste it's from a recycling aspect a is like, come on. Oh. oh. I like oh, the color. Can I, can I, can I, why does it look so cheap? It's, Doesn't it? <laughs> it's, it's Marilyn. Marilyn would never wear that. That's I was going to say, are you insulting Marilyn Monroe right now? Because she would not wear this mermaid see-through skirt. It looked better in the picture. But I feel like you're getting so much stuff. That's why they're cheaper on the outfit. I Maybe. feel like I, The Supersonics, though, last year, I will never open a doll set that is that amazing. Oh, the quality there. Yeah, I feel like that was so high that this is, like, nothing compared to that. Like, I'm... Nothing yeah. will ever compete with the Supersonics. That goes with her. I agree. I totally agree with that. I feel like that set was just from open to finish to everything. Working instruments, um, the whole set. Like, this is more cardboard in its set, whereas the Supersonics one felt like something you want to keep. Yes. Yes, I agree with that. Not that this isn't cute. You can tell they put a lot of effort into the packaging. Yeah, I just, I don't know. Something about it, I just don't... It's not the vibe. I don't like it as much. And here's the pets, and so I'm getting into the pet zone. I'm finding some pets now. I do like that you do get a lot of these, though. You do. So if you're, like, let's say, like, if this is for a kid and you like more of the, like, tots and the pets, you do get more of these. Yeah. Versus the Supersonics, you just got the sisters or the tot friend, friends, related sisters, whatever I'm calling it. <gasps> okay, I'm this loving is really her. Cute. This for is me, so honestly, cute. this set is totally, yes, this is 70s glam. I love it. And yeah. I don't... And I normally don't like denim, but this together, though, is a look. So cute. Is a look. It's so cute. It's so well done, and I think it's executed so well, and I think it's going to look great on her, too. Honestly, this think... set is worth just that one doll for me. Yeah, I love her skin tone. I love the gold. Like, they the, ma the way off. that her hair complements her skin tone versus the makeup is just really well done. Beautiful. Oh, I love her ring. What does it say? Peace. Oh. I feel like, you know what she reminds me of? Hmm. Beyonce from Austin Powers. Yeah, 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 yes, yeah. Yes, other people are probably have said that, I'm assuming, but I don't care. I'm saying it again, because it's true. <laughs> like, it's so good. It makes me so happy right now. It's giving, like, Studio 54. Yeah, ugh. Why is that not a, like, I would just go dancing right now. There needs to be a club that does disco, because I want to go dancing so bad, and I feel like there's no disco revival clubs anywhere. Okay, if there's somebody out there Not putting that I something know together, of. call me. I'll be more than happy to perform there. <laughs> I come out with my giant, like, gold outfit. Yes. What number would you do? Is there a disco song that you can think of that you're like, that um, would be me 100%? I mean, I loved Donna Summer, of course, but I don't know who else I would do. Oh, I, oh you I can no do idea. Cher. Yeah, I would definitely do, I could Cher. do Cher. Being done. Long done, hair. Just that mm, beautiful. Coming in on a horse. Like, is this much plastic necessary for this? For there to just be the four. Uh, like, look at this. Things? There's just like little pieces, and that's it. There's way too much plastic in this. 
way too much plastic. I like all the glasses. I like this. This is very Gaga. These drip suck the glasses. Yes, is those very are gaga. very Gaga. Do you feel like that doll? I mean, we haven't even opened her yet. Yeah, I don't even know where she is yet. I'm like, where is, is she in all this cardboard? Is so more Gaga or Marilyn? From the pictures without seeing her yet, I would say Gaga, but that's just okay. See, I always early Gaga though. Yes, early, not now. What What is her style now? Uh, amazing. She does have very uh, tasteful style. Beautiful. I mean, she there always it, has. I think I think it's done. Early Gaga was more shocking. This is more, yeah. wow, she's an elegant queen. Like, you know what I mean? So I feel like it's kind of in that way. It was definitely more like pop star back in the day and now she's more like uh, She's an Oscar winning yeah, amazing I mean, human being. Yeah. There's just so much There's plastic. So oh, far what? you've had no duplicate tots. And the reason I say that is not because it's supposed to come with duplicates, but the one that I bought, I didn't get Countess and I didn't get, um, which is crazy that they did that. That I mean, I know it's on an accident. I know it's def definitely a defect. Yes. But it's so crazy that they you had duplicate do tots in the same space. Because this is an expensive so, set. That makes me think when they were coming down the conveyor belt, because obviously these things are just put in by machines, right. that it got twisted or turned, and a bunch of them probably ended up that way. Yeah. I doubt you're the only one. So if anybody out there got dupes or messes up or weird, all, wrong things in any of this, please, like... Comment down below. I love this jacket. This to me is early 2000s. I love the pink pleather. I used to have a skirt like this. And I love the trim. It makes me think of Versace almost. It definitely reminds me of That's So Raven. That's the vibe I <laughs> yes. get from that. Yes, yes, I can see that. No, I did not want the box because I feel like I have so much packaging, so much stuff, like I need to let go. So no by space, you tearing yeah. up the box, is allowing me it's to let go. It's helping you to let go. It is. It, it, it does take up a lot of space. Um, if I had to pick this box for the Supersonics, I would go with the Supersonics. I did keep most of the Supersonic boxes. I did have to throw part of it out because I just literally, like I said, I don't have the space, space anymore. I know a lot of you are out there feeling the same thing. I saw her post, I started vlogging, uh, redoing my LL surprise area in my room, and I actually threw out like 40 OMG boxes, which was difficult for me. <laughs> the microphone's just like, <laughs> like all this. You have to title this ASMR. And look at all these little pictures in there. So all the pictures are for each of the dolls. Oh, it's like they're yes, like um, their sticker. Their sticker. All it's right. Like so I'm glad I'm not. I'm glad I'm not throwing it out. Where is the other doll? Oh, no. <laughs> Where is the other doll? You've opened up everything, and I do if not see. Hold on, I'm trying. She to has to be in here. This I video. I don't even know if it's postable. <laughs> we will see. This video is this even salvageable. <laughs> Someone out there is crying right now. Oh, I love this. This is cute. I love the little walkway. Okay, okay. Now I can see. Oh! Ah! Please! It was like that the whole time? Hold on, I gotta do the reveal. How did I not see that before? Okay, so now I kinda wanna just keep this one room. Oh, thank you! See, you saved the one room there for you go. me. I love this, cause look, it's like Superman, like, where is she? Da -da. <laughs> Workout. That's a cute, it's a cute <laughs> outfit like that. It was a workout. Out. <gasps> oh, look at this little doll award. We should have used it in the oh, video. There you we go. We should have used it in the doll awards video. Okay, that alone detailing on this little trophy is so cute. It's an actual OMG doll molded. Platform 70s shoes. She's just the best. She's the best. She is. Set. I feel like they put all their energy in this one and the other one they're like, eh. Do you think they'll re-release the dolls by themselves next year? You know what? I did. I said no to the Supersonics because I was like, oh, who would not want to buy the set? But they were so popular, they did release some singular, you know? These, I feel like this set isn't as popular. It's a, It was on clearance, like, or not clearance, it was on sale literally after a month or two of being out. I feel like this isn't as popular. I can see them not doing it because people are mm. like, they're just not as popular. I, I feel like they might. Her. I definitely think they should release her because I would buy another of her. She's I beautiful. Think if anything, they might have retailers ship them all back and just repackage these to be an individual packaging. They would do that. I think instead they've of done just clearance before. out, really. I think they've done that before. Hmm. Oh, I, I love wrong, that the but... nails. She, you know, she reminds me of Rich Housewives of something. City. This dress. <laughs> you know, when you want. It's to... cute, but it's very short. And I don't care about things like that. Like personally, it looks like I don't... a bodysuit because the back looks like shorts. The back is in a skirt. See it? It's just like a bodysuit in the back. Oh, it is. It's a bodysuit. It is. Is it? Is there two pieces? Oh, it's two pieces. So she has like underwear. Oh, so her butt is just out. Yeah. Interesting. You know, 
it's a look. I love it the though. Hair is I think it's beautiful. beautiful. Uh, Lady Gaga telephone. Yeah. That's what it makes me think of a little yours bit. Yours is really cute because mine, the hair wasn't like the best, but yours is really, really nice. Thank you, Melissa, for sending me a perfect one from Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like the look. I do see that it does look a little like, you know, she's working that corner for that dollar to buy some dolls. Like, that's what she <laughs> looks like. I mean, I don't, I, I'm just calling it as I see it. Let's just be real. <laughs> but it's not bad. I like it. Yeah, personally. I love that. I think she looks beautiful. I think she looks very like, in control, a rich housewife, but also... She looks like she'd definitely kill her husband. She's giving um, Patricia... <gasps> I don't remember her last name. From but what? Patricia Gucci. From oh, Gucci. I was like... I was like, but Patricia, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Patricia! <laughs> Is that you? <laughs> I love her. Wait, so she's supposed to wear these shoes? Yeah. Oh, I love her. I love her more now that you said she looks like Gucci. Like, I just like, I'm sorry that I was insulting you and saying I liked her only because now I love, but okay. This set to me is not worth the box because the box is written. No. It's just so much cardboard. I would have liked them to just sell us in a two pack. Yes. Oh, can you see this is a, I could see them open. If this was the two pack and then the boy and the girl they released was the big set, I think that would have done better. Like if the, if the, um, yes. cause they could re have themed this to be all grease themed and maybe it's like oh. a diner on one side and then like the, if it was the drive-in theater on the other side, I think that yeah. would have been cute. I mean, I love that set, but I think that this would have been better as a two pack. Yes. I agree with that so much. And I would have liked to have seen, I could see them, it open them looking stunning and like having like um like cardboard lights around it like they're in the middle yeah. of the stage and that would be the display box mm -hmm. so inbox collectors would still buy it because of the display yeah like so accepting beautiful. the award together or <gasps> something yes see i love that i love that this is very much beyonce and lady gaga from telephone yes, video like yeah, anyone who says no i'm sorry like that that's 100 percent what this is and i don't hate it I, i'm you know i i know a lot of people like oh they just copy a lot of things from other stuff oh. Like, you know, I love the true. reference. I love references. Yeah. I am on the same boat. I feel like some people think it's maybe coming almost as uncreative. I've seen, but like, uh, to me, I don't think it's uncreative. I think like when you love something so much, you want to use that as inspiration to create something new. Yeah. With it. And that's why when I see it, you have a, a tag from the doll in your hair. Oh. <laughs> new hair accessory. Uh, I just really love the two of them. I think they're beautiful. I think we should get them dressed though. I yes. want them in some outfits. Yes. Let's pause a moment. Let's redress. I think we're almost done getting this chaotic mess into somewhat of an order. Yeah. Where do we start? <laughs> the first shawl is cute because there's little straps in the shawl that you can put the arms in and there's an actual snap. So and it's the not inner just lining. Shawl. I like the detailing, like the, the phrases on here. So, so it cute. says like the winner is, um, it says art is life. F-I-N. So really, really cute work that they did. Yeah, here. this, I mean, it's so simple and I love the little straps, but I love that it will stick in her arms. That's a really good detail. This, <laughs> so we styled it a little, oh my gosh, I cannot. <laughs> I don't know where she's going right now. Housewives of something, but it's just a moment. <laughs> we styled her in a very different outfit than what she came with, but I love that jacket on her. I this think it looks really good. It's technically hers, but it does, I feel like it's suited for her. It matches the shoes. And I've, maybe mm -hmm. they, they designed it like that on purpose so you can mix and match them. Um, but it's definitely Gaga and Beyonce from Telephone type yeah. of moment. Or Beyonce, <laughs> this is just Beyonce all the way around, from Austin Powers. And I love that this one just looks like 90s, like I was thinking Jawbreaker, the movie, yeah. that fashion aesthetic. I love the yellow hair. It's very, very, very like anime yellow. The glasses um, won't stay on and that's bothering me. I don't like the glasses, so you can just take them off. They're just, <laughs> remove those glasses, that is fine. I don't like the skirt either. I feel like it looks very inexpensive and thin. So that's never getting put on her. No, I don't like <laughs> that them. Is awful. I really am curious. I would love to like interview the designer from a non-judgmental place and just understand their concept behind using this material because this material for like a red carpet i don't i understand. think <clears throat> it was forced on i feel like they probably had a better fabric selected and then just for cost purposes they had to cut somewhere right yeah. so they were like we will go cheaper on the fabric that makes sense that's where i'm thinking i don't think the designer meant to use this fabric if they did choices 
Um, but I just don't think it suits the doll very well. Like I agree with you, it doesn't look red carpet. I feel like they did budget cuts and that was where they cut the budget was the fabric for that one skirt. I guess they're trying to mimic the silhouette of this and this maybe because this fabric has like, it almost looks like glitter without being uh, a glitter fabric. True, true. That's potential, but it's so stiff and I would like to think yeah. that it's like a budget cut thing because mm -hmm. it's not what we're used to. I mean, there is hemming, like I'll give them that. The stitching is nice. Um, along these two lines, It just doesn't but... look like OMG to me. Because no. you look at that, and then you look at this coat where it has fur and I would vinyl and straps. Think this came with Barbie. Yes. It would make me think fashionista Barbie. It really does. Versus this looks so much more put together. The crystal shoes, very... Cinderella. <laughs> Cinderella got a new job. You know, it just looks so different. Versus this one where you see all the detailing and you're like, wait, this is the skirt for the other one? And look at the denim with the pockets and the glitter and the boots are platformed and she has a beautiful two ring set. And the earrings are movie reels. Like, and the hair, this one's from head to toe. Amazing. And, yeah, no really complaints. Incredible. No complaints on her at all. I think with this, like, it's clear to me, I mean, she didn't come with this coat, but it's clear to me that the designer for her had a vision mm -hmm. that is, it's a daring, unique vision. The ring is beautiful. I love the I ring. I like the coral elements. Um, I'm not in love with her eyeshadow and yours just, the eyeliner, like they just really went ham. <gasps> <laughs> they really went ham. Oh, that looks hideous. <laughs> they said, oh, it's like when you mess up your eyeliner a little bit. It's so a you just Sharpie. <laughs> Sharpie, can I get this focused? I don't think it will. I'm gonna have to take pictures, but it's so, yeah, it's not focusing, but it is so thick. I'm gonna have to post pictures here. It is so thick and ugly. You know, brush the hair over the eyeliner. Brush the hair over the, <laughs> where you just take your wig and just go, what eyeliner, what eyeliner? That yeah. is, wow. The makeup is, isn't the best on her. I, I don't really understand why they did the blue eyeshadow. Maybe so that way, like, she, cause she's supposed to wear this. So like, there's some like connection between the two, but, um, I feel like these are very, two very separate entities. Yeah. And I don't it, see the connection. I feel like they tried to make elements that connected them, but in doing so it makes them look yeah. flashing. Cause OMG, one of my biggest, um, compliments, I guess, to OMG is that they're always so cohesive, but still look very gaudy like they're not they're not minimalistic dolls and i like that i normally yes. really like like again going into like this doll for example look at the, over the top the denim the gold beautiful but it's still within the realm of like it makes sense yes you look like a pop star like they all look like pop yes. stars and this one um I love all the little sisters for all the different like this is spirit queen's little sister Ms. Direct's sister galaxy babe sister so i like that they gave us a bunch of like of the tots. sisters that tots that all go together um two pets and then two little sisters <laughs> tiny little sisters so we do get a lot of those I, like I, i'm the same with you like i'm not a big fan of the tots that much um there are a few like i like the goth ones the witchy ones those type of things I get why they put them with the set because these didn't, they should have come with the other ones, honestly. Yeah. If they did a set where it was like the tot with the doll for $36 would have made a lot more sense to me. Why it came with these, I don't know. It must have not done well with winter break or it was, <gasps> they could make right. more money. Winter break is another winter line. chill. Winter chill. Yeah. Winter disco. All of the, both of them. Winter chill the and winter disco. Yes. Yes. Because winter break is rainbow high. Um, <laughs> Everything has a winter line. Yes. Okay. Any, like, well, MGA has the best winter lines, but I agree with that. I would say with these, like, either maybe they know it's more profitable to sell them separately. Well, that wouldn't make sense because they're in this set. They're in this set. You know what it was? They wanted to do another big pack because the the Supersonics did so good last year. So they're like, what can we do for a pack? So they maybe said, okay, we got these two dolls, and just throw tots with it, because maybe they didn't know who else to put with it. Yeah, maybe. It's, it's really... Because who else, what else would they have done? If they weren't to put them with this set? Mm -hmm. Like, what... If, let's say they were like, okay, team, we want a movie magic big pack. Right. Because the Supersonics did so good for the remix series last year. I love the two-pack of the Grease... We're just going to call it the Grease set yeah. because that's what it looks like. I feel like they should have taken, like, I agree with you, making the Grease into the big box and then doing more characters from Grease. Like, one with pink hair, like yes. Frenchie. Yeah. Or, like, Rizzo. Or, like, the, I could see them expanding on that and doing, like, a Grease pack. That, I feel like, would have 
oh, I can just, I'm envisioning it now. Like the box would have had the car, the grease lightning car on it or something, or they could have even made a car that looked like a Thunderbird. I guess or something. where they, like, um, where they lose is like where the, they're supposed to match their tots. So if there's tots that are more grease inspired, mm. or if they were to do like, Ooh, they should have did this. Like movies throughout the eras. So <gasps> like, um, okay, like okay. a fifties movie, then a sixties, seventies, eighties movie, and a four pack with four decades. Yeah, that would be so cute. Drop the ball, MGA. You drop the <laughs> ball on this. Hire us. They need to just hire us. They're having so many like staff changes. Why are we not there? Uh, I feel like these. Oh, these glasses hers. Yeah. So they go with hers to go with. No, this. put it on her because they're pink and gold. And they go with the jacket yeah, it now. Feels better with this. She, this one just needs to be a whole. We just redress this one because this one's so. Let me see it now. Oh yeah, that looks so cute. I love this. She looks like um, Austin Powers. Like she looks straight out of that movie. One of the femme bots or say I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, this, this is a lot. I feel like I do like certain elements. Like, I love the little award is an OMG doll molded. This is really cute. Really cute. I like that they just didn't use, a, like, a generic female silhouette. It's an actual doll, like, yes. silhouette. That is it. That, to me, was they had actually make a molding for that. That costs money. I'm fine with that. And the ribbon, I mean, even on this jacket, like, this having... Versace. You can't really see it from there, but there's, like, yeah, there is, like, a, a chain element that's Versace-esque, like designer-esque. I think that's something that you don't have to put. Like they could have just put a black ribbon. Yes. So I, I appreciate, I think that they maintain their detail and I really just feel like this is a matter of taste. Like if mm -hmm. this has to be your preference of taste and it's just, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not against it. It's just not my preference of taste. Whereas I love the Supersonics because they're so punk. They're so like um, edgy in their yeah. style. Whereas this is just like, to me, it's very like gaudy. I, uh, which... I like gaudy looking. I mean, look at my. <laughs> I yes. have so many sequenced gowns from the thrift store. But I just feel like the story here, I don't know. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it just, like, the Supersonics, yes, we keep talking about how great they are, but it made sense. They were a yeah. band. Every, even though they were very different appearance wise, I could they see them. They were still very cohesive. They, I could see them walk out on stage and it would make sense. This, I'm just like, okay, it's like they had Tots, they had the two dolls. They had some random stuff. They're like, oh, we'll make a box set that opens up and we'll put stickers in it. Done. And it just feel like this doesn't, this seems to me not as much of a story. I don't see the complete story. That, that's Versus a good the Supersonics way has like a whole story where you open the box, it's the stage. The other characters are all different styles of music. This like, it was like, I like the single dolls, like Spirit Queen, you know, that, I liked each of those individual ones where I was like, okay, I can see what style of movies they are, but they weren't exactly like a certain style of movie. And then this is just... Yeah, it is a, <laughs> chaos. The story is a little. Um, I mean, I guess you could say the same thing about the movie because a lot of complaints about the the LOL movie. I don't know. Have you seen it? No, I have to watch the movie. I'm so behind. So no. I think it's cute. Even. I like I like the, what they're presenting and the story they're telling there. But one of the complaints is just like the story isn't Does it make isn't sense? there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, the one person out there, I thought it was the best set ever. Like, you know, and honestly, someone probably does think this is a really good set. They're really into the tots. They love, they bought all the other dolls. Now they get the tots to go with those dolls that they already had. Maybe that's the, their opinion. And they really love the aesthetic of these two dolls she's from Austin Powers. She's the best of this set. Like, she's, yes. I would say, like, the yes. set is worth it if you have the money to spend just for this doll. Would I say, like, I if this doll was sold alone for $130, would I buy it? Probably not. But, I mean, I probably would just because I'd have every OMG, but I don't think she's worth $130 alone. Yeah. But I think the set is worth it for her because she's a really beautiful yes. design. Yes. This one, I, 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 hands down, so good. I'm liking her more and more when I'm looking at her because I love how, like, trashy she looks. Like, it makes me I think of... I appreciate her. I like that. Yeah, I appreciate it. And I, like I said, I love the 2000s, 90s, like... <laughs> describe her without being rude i you know i like i like the gaudiness <laughs> i like the gaudiness like she's just walking <laughs> it is i mean it's and maybe that's There's so many movie references for. that i want yeah like maybe that yeah. was the fun of it it's like let's make a really like trashy doll like she's going on the she, stage she's she was drunk. raised in reno sorry for anybody in reno uh, <laughs> she was raised in reno out in the desert she's like one day i'm gonna be a star and it's like you know 1996 i don't even know oh showgirls it's making you think of showgirls where she's just like you know <laughs> yeah she's had a rough life she's like is this versace am i wearing versace and you know now she's a movie star and now she's wearing Versace. And I guess I to say that like the fact we're having fun with like making her storyline is the point of dolls. Yes. And so in that way they win. 
She won. Yeah, she won. <laughs> she literally won. <laughs> and I do, but see, that's one thing. I love dolls are about dolls and storytelling. I 100% yes. agree with you. And it's about having fun with dolls. And I hope no one gets angry with any of the comments, but it's one of those things where I just... They'll, they'll get angry. They'll get angry no matter what. But it's one of those <laughs> things where it's like, I'm having fun with it. And, I and honestly, I live for those 90s movies where it's like, girl, down and out. And now I'm a movie star. You know? <laughs> it's like... And she's rough. Like, she's seen things, though. That eyeliner says it all. <laughs> eyeliner has, says it all there. And then this one over here, she's like, I'm winning an Oscar. Like, you know? Yes. Okay. She's made it. She's still in budget films. And I already okay. see it. Like, now I want to make this a movie where she's, like, she's, like, riding her coattail. Like, she meets her in a diner one day, like, telephone. And she, like, takes pity on her as, like, the waitress or something. Um, <laughs> and they go on a whole adventure. Yes. Oh, in a Thunderbird that they should have yeah. made from the Grease set. Like, why did they not do that? Uh, next year. Yeah. I don't know. Well, they, they did music year. last year, movies. What's next? They did dance know. in between. <gasps> yes. So, Which is still not one of my favorites. That was also a letdown for me. I had so much hope for the dance sets. And yeah. I kind of was like, mm, I don't know. There's some I still really, really love from mm -hmm. that line, but it... it wasn't their like best performing, but I like that. Um, oh, I feel like they there was so much potential there. I would have liked to see. I want to see stuff from around the world, like themes, well, they didn't like, travel, but they didn't really elaborate on like different places. Yeah, that's another set that I'm just not a hundred percent for. Like they're cute, but I'm not like <gasps> like I was with the remix. Like remix, I was like <gasps> yeah, and then these I'm just kind of like. So do we? Are we considering this the decline of the OMG lines? I don't know. Like, I don't. Think I still so. love them, but I think a lot of people don't. To be honest, like what I see is like mm. people are leaning towards Rainbow High, but mm -hmm. I will. I will always advocate for OMG just because I really love. Like they, they make me want to tell stories when I see yes. them, um, and they're more like fun and campy that way. Whereas Rainbow High, I get more inspired by their fashion, but less to like. Tell I see them more them. serious. Yes, I see them more luxury. More seri luxury, serious. This is like the gaudy aspect that we were talking about earlier, which I again I love. I love the two worlds, and they are they are so different. That's why yeah. people are like, "Do you like LMG or Rainbow High more?" And I was like, "I'm like they're so different. It's so hard to put them up yes. to each other." You yes. know what I mean? Um, and like I said, I keep going, keep staring at her because she's just so beautiful. Like so, there is a lot of hope. I don't think this is the decline of I don't the whole series. End. It might I be feel the like it's the evolution. The, not the, it, I changing. hope that I hope that there's um I feel like they're constantly reinventing. Like we love those minis. So oh, I, I think love that the mini sets. If you have not bought those, they're like six ninety nine, like so cute. They're definitely worth it. I Probably think that they're constantly looking. gonna they're gonna reinvent to keep um the line relevant. I don't know. I don't think they're gonna go anywhere anytime soon, hopefully, just because I really like them. Me too. But there have been the leaks of like the have oh, what are one? they? Yes, I want you the purple, the long purple hair. Yes, yeah. God, what's the name of that set? See, now I'm like... Cricket noises. Um, well, there's four new dolls. They have tons of colors. Uh, the one with the long purple hair, if I find pictures, I'll try to insert somewhere if I can. Um, that's the one I really like. Yeah. I know a lot of people say they were kind of all over the place. Like, the one has it's blue and pink. Like it's kind of like this. It is. You know what? I can see her with that set. Why was this not with that set more? I don't... Yeah, yeah. I can see that. Maybe they're that designer that designed this one designed that set. That would make sense. I feel like that it's it's the same kind of story that's being told. It's very gaudy. It's very what like costumey. What is that costume -y. line called? Oh my gosh, I've seen it. So, mm, it's gonna bother me <laughs> now. <laughs> In the comments, let us know. Um, but yeah, no, I that is a, that to me. Until I see them in person, I like them better than the travel series. But I'm also kind of like they're very. I don't know what they're trying to do with those. <laughs> it's just a lot. It's a lot of color things. I don't even know. But maybe that's the direction they want to go in. It's more of a gaudier direction. Maybe. Maybe for things to be more fun. I mean, mm -hmm. I, again, like, I feel like OMG is a doll line that, like, I could play dolls with. And by that, I mean, like, I, we're already coming up with ideas for her story, like, her backstory, and that's the fun of dolls. Whereas with Rainbow High, I think especially because they already have character backgrounds because of the series, like, it is more, I feel mm -hmm. like it is almost more like adult, even though a lot of kids are Pre really into it's like it. It's like pre-scripted for your play. Yes. Versus yes. this, like you said, there's no background to it, so it's yeah. a little different, yeah. And now you make me like her more. Oh, there's swirls in the jacket. Do you see that? Look at that. Oh, I <laughs> never saw it. New elements every time we look at it. There's actual in the pleather, there's like swirly lines yeah. in it. Yeah. To give oh, it that disco, cute. psychedelic, out of the 60s cute. and 70s look, yeah. I think... 
and as we continue to like call and critique, I think why my issue is that we wouldn't have noticed that. I, I've had this set for months and I never noticed because against this, or like I just didn't put it on her, but against this, like you wouldn't know, but I guess that's why it goes on her. But I see it now because again, we're playing with them. So we're noticing the detail. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I hope they don't go away. I think I like the OMGs better than the Tots. So if the Tots wanted to go away, it wouldn't really matter too much. But I, I know there's a lot of kids that really love the little ones. Um, I like the OMGs. I think, again, they're very outlandish. They're crazy. They're wild. They are over the top. I'm living for it. Again, I just don't like when you buy a box set and it doesn't have a story. I do like the art on some of these where, you like, the, I just noticed on here now, look, the car is on the box. That's kind of cool. Yeah. You know, so they, they, they do put detail in everything that they do, but it's, you know, it's MGA. MGA is all about detail. Oh, oh a little <laughs> off the shoulder moment. She's like, oh. you know what that makes me think of? MTV Awards. Yeah. She's rolling up. It's 1999. MTV Awards. <laughs> Had a rough night. She's gonna get her little popcorn thing, whatever. What did they get for the movie? The movie's the popcorn. What did they get for the MTV award? Oh, it's a little moon man. Little oh, yeah, moon yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. She just won. <laughs> and it's more storytelling. If you want to see more content from me, definitely click in the links in the description below and let us know what you think of everything we talked about. Our 40 minute rant. I'm gonna to try to edit this down. It won't be 40 minutes when it goes on YouTube. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>